Hello peoples, this is Beta Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we made it fairly well into the jungle. I probably could have made a lot more progress if I had just really tried and didn't go off in too many tangents. But I mean, this is Beta Knights, where would it be without any tangents? And I, I also completely neglected to mention in the last episode, I love the freaking music in the forest here, or in the jungle. I don't know what it is, I just really like it. Anyway, continuing on, we have, I believe, two more Yoshi kids to find. Yeah, I think two more. Another statue of Raphael the Raven back there. I knew that was going to be a trap. Oh, well, it's just two of them. So, how's everyone, how's everyone been lately? Anything busy going on in your lives? I know some of you, uh, some of you are done with school and done with other stuff, too. Uh, the thing is, my school just started, uh, everything with my school just started a, uh, like a week late or something like that, uh, from the winter intercession, so basically we're ending about a week or a week or two later than everyone else as well, which isn't too bad, but I mean, yeah, I'd rather just be out of it. So anything new going on with you guys, in general? I know I actually have, oh god. I actually have quite a bit going on with me right now. Uh, I guess while I'm randomly scouring this area for any little secrets. I guess I can say, uh... <coughs> um, I actually recently made a very, very big purchase. Like, to the size of which I... I'm usually uncomfortable with. The statue of Raphael the Red, maybe you put something inside it. That I, that I would normally be uncomfortable with making. But I mean, this is something I've been kind of wanting for a while. I'm not going to go into too many details, but trust me guys, you guys will find out about it soon. Uh, so no worries there. Um, I just got to get some issues resolved. I guess uh, something like with my bank. Um, I guess something happened like where like... Jeez, jeez, jeez. Like, ah. Some of my bank, I guess, like, somehow, like, my card didn't get approved or whatever. It's not a credit card or anything, it's just my debit card. But for some reason, the transaction didn't go through, so I gotta figure that out. I gotta get some other details done with it. Anyway, it's just a really big thing overall that I think will benefit everything. It will benefit this channel a lot, too, if I use it right. So, yeah, it does have to do with gaming. <laughs> anyway, yeek, somebody help me! I'm so scared, I want to go home. Get away from that baby Yoshi, you bastards! <coughs> you dancing piranha plants. Anyway, I believe these are jungle piranhas? Putrid piranha. Okay, my bad. As you can see, they're, this counts as like a little mini boss fight. I mean, look at their HP. Um, so these guys, as you can see, their mouths are forward, so you can actually jump on them. Which is useful. But they also have another ability in that they can. That was not very good. They can basically uh, spit out poison at you, and I believe that, if I remember correctly, their attack is kind of tricky to dodge or block. Anyway, this is actually a pretty trippy looking attack. Uh, and it's the new one we got from Sushi, and this was actually the battle I was thinking of when trying to decide what to do. Hey, press A as the stars light up. Ah. I always mess up that first one. And it creates an actual block of water. Ah. Ah. Still can't block poison though, however. How they got the gas, their like putrid breath to go through here, I have no idea. Anyway guys, the uh The actual water block itself raises your defense by a really good amount. And it lasts for a few turns, so for some fights it can be really useful. So in in tough fights, if you're finding yourself in a tricky situation, why not go for it? I would actually recommend it. Sadly, you have to rely somewhat on your own abilities as well, and poison still gets to you. Which is unfortunate, since these guys don't, at least it doesn't seem like they bite you directly. Zap tap does diddly biddly squat. But overall, it's like the hardest part about them is just the fact that they have 
a high amount of HP. And you usually fight multiples of them. But anyway. It's okay, little guy. Au revoir. Are they all gone? I'm sorry for disobeying you and going into the jungle. I'll be a good boy now. When you say stuff, Sushi, I'll listen. I swear. Thanks for saving me. I'm going straight home now. I like how we trust them to stay safe on the way home through this dangerous place after we've even witnessed how dangerous it could be for us. And yet we let them go through on their own just because they say they'll head straight I'm not saying to distrust them. I'm just saying oh, that it's dangerous. Holy crap. See? Prime example. That thing probably jumped that guy on his way out. Um, see, as for the business earlier, uh, there's not much else to talk about that. I will go into details later, but it's going to be a while before that's set up. Uh, yeah, I guess there's that going on. There's some other kind of big stuff going on recently for me. Um, stuff having to do with my job, with stuff with this channel. But they will all be revealed in time. I don't want to go into details right now, and I want to stop from going off on too many tangents. Hey guys, you may have... Screw you. You may have remembered, there's this little Yoshi up here. Let's wake him up! Heavy sleeper. How's that for waking him up? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? We were playing hide and seek, and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I am starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. I like how the first one we see is the one... <laughs> that was a cool little fanfare. I like how the one we actually see first is the one that we gen that we possibly save last. It's the only one who... It's like everyone else like, the jungle's a scary place, you were right. I'm sorry, Sushi, I'll listen to you from now on. And that one, the only one that seemed like well-behaved already. Like He didn't seem like it was like... Oh, you were right. You were right or wrong, Sushi. I'll stay out of here. He just books it out of here. He's like, yeah, everything's fine. But everything seems to be right again in the place of Yoshi's. I'm gonna heal real quick because my HP and everything's getting a tad low. Yeah, let's take a quick nap. And while Mario's doing that, I'm gonna get a drink because it's getting very warm in my room. Speaking of which, I want to get a, I want to get a thermometer for my, uh, for my room, so I can kind of just like look over and t just tell you guys how hot it gets here during the early to mid summer in Southern California. Here in Southern California, it does get warm. Thing is, the warm season for me translates into the headache season. I've been having headaches the last couple days just because it's been warm. That alone is enough to start giving me little migraines in the back of my neck. Ugh, I hate it. But I'm used to it by now. It's been happening for 20 years, so... <laughs> Mario, I must thank you. Blame my hot bloodiness. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? Uh, when I hear someone say Valor now, I just think of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I've still been playing that a bit lately. I haven't played in the last couple of days, but um, one little person that you find levels up like their Valor, which is kind of like their Braveness, I guess. I don't know. I forget what the what Valor is supposed to do. I think it like I think it makes like the little guy more more opt to attack larger monsters or something like that, like a little more courageous or something. I don't know. I've remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Okay. What the what the hell is he uh What the hell is he doing there? Jeez, huh? I thought it was somewhere around here. Yeah, trying to find something around your big belly? Oh god, I'm sorry guys, but that animation right there, it looked like he was jerking it off. Oh my god, yeah. A little gross. <laughs> oh yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. I don't want to take whatever you do. You got the Jade Raven! The Jade Statue of a Raven that Yoshi's Village Leader gave you. Awesome. Whenever events around our control or around, beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael Raven. Raphael the Raven, the island's master. 
If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven in the statue of Raphael, way into the depths of the jungle it will appear. Away oh, into the depths. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find a path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one moment, minute. You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. Sounds yummy. But you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? A touching story! Romantic stories like that. Just touch soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You need, you needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano isn't getting any cooler. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Well, seems like we gained ourselves a babysitter, guys. And all is right in the village again. What's Colorado out to say? Well, well, finally, everyone's come to it. Now we can get some good information about treasure from these locals. Well, where to start? <laughs> ah, always with treasure with you, isn't it, Colorado? Hey guys, all we have to do now is head back to the statue of Raphael. Which hopefully won't take too long. Oh. Well, it will if I go that way. I believe going this way would be shorter, technically. Oh, what's... God. What is with everyone doing awkward things? You can see... Uh, I didn't even have to go. Didn't even have... I didn't even have to do. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. There was something else I was going to talk about. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. My uh, gaming class. In the last episode, I believe... I believe it was the last episode. I was talking... A uh, good thing I didn't go the land that way. Um... I was talking about uh, in my gaming class how we all have to do a kind of a showcase of the game we're designing. Um, if I can, actually, I would like to ch see if I'd be able to record some gameplay um, just of my game. Well, I say of my game, but it'd be more like a level because we're only doing like a level or two. It's, it's just basically a prototype. It's going to be a very bare bones version. It's not going to be the highly detailed and a finalized version. Not to say I'm not interested in continuing on with this game, but I don't know. We'd have to see. But, uh,. But yeah, it's, I don't know. It's interesting. I'd like to at least get some gameplay footage so I can at least show you guys what I what I was able to make. And kind of get some opinions on it. Who knows, maybe get some ideas for how to improve it, how, what to add on to it. And if I should even keep going in that direction at all or just create something completely new. I don't know. I would like to make a game of my own. I mean, how interesting would that be to do a let's play of my own game on this? It'd be amazing. Hey, guys. Kind of neglected. <laughs> Again, I'm neglecting to mention things that are happening in the game. That was this game, Grumps. Oh, ooh, burn! I just went there. Just kidding. It never really bothers me in game Grumps. More other people to get annoyed. Takes a lot to annoy me. Anyway, this whole statue basically moved over, revealing a way forward. Which kind of reminds me of uh, you guys may remember in some of the later areas of uh, the Wind Waker, something similar to that happens. Again, for spoiler reasons. What the hell's with the monkey? Again, yeah, for spoiler reasons, I won't go too into that, but I might jump up right here, and an egg comes out. Aww. What's that? Dang it! Mm. I need my FP healing. Don't want to get rid of my egg missing. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of the stopwatch because I'm not really gonna use it. The only reason I would keep the stopwatch is to show you guys. Ah, oh, whatever. I... Ah. Good. This was a much better choice. I swear, this game, like, auto-influences influences you in weird ways. Okay, do these flowers actually do anything besides just glow? I mean... They're kind of all over the place a bit, but... I 
Okay, I'll have... Okay, yeah. Huh. Oh, a stump. Wow. Okay. I have a, I have a stone cap already. Right now. I haven't showed the stone cap either, I believe. I gotta show that. But, um... I don't know, I, I suddenly just had this urge, like, there's something hidden in this area. I... Okay, this is gonna seem really weird to you guys, but... I swear, I did not know this was here ahead of time. All of a sudden, I was just thinking, like... I feel like Watt can find something for me here. And sure enough. Anyway, just check the, the shrubbery right there. Ooh, here we're coming on to one of my favorite puzzles in the game. This one's really cool. Hey, you see there's this little water spout here. I have a feeling I was talking about something else before I went on that thing, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. This game influences you in really weird ways. Uh, I swear, you see, a, like, four or five enemies in a row, and you see they all have seven HP. It's like, just not knowing that number seven, it's like auto PK star so I'm right there. Stop calling it PK star so Anyway, block the water, creates another one. Block the water, comes out another hole. Block the water, comes out another hole. I think. And as you can see, it's it's getting slightly stronger and stronger as it passes. And there's a reason for that. Oh boy. Ran out of holes to come out of, apparently. Sheesh. Whole rock had a seizure. And I like how it literally throws it off... Off the scene. And into the background. Like, it actually fell down into... Anyway, trying to go here. We can't get past the water here. Even over here where the water's not touching us. So. One more time. Block this off. Now, let's see. No. I wasn't sure if the water was going to appear anywhere else, but it does block it and allow us passage. Now, you know, I want to show you guys where the secret items are in this, because I don't know them all for sure. No, get it, get it, get it. Jump on the line. Dang. Ah. This is the only thing I don't like about this game is the inventory space. I know it, I know it. Get away, get away. Now this one, oh jeez. Ah. This one actually progresses the way forward. This one, is your mushroom. Now I'm at full health. I was contemplating grabbing, grabbing the mushroom just to heal myself real quick, but ooh, I actually don't know where this one is, but I'm glad it's been popped out because I didn't know there was one here. I just realized the oh nice. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. Bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, I have to say, that was, that was pretty interesting. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know this, there was a star piece in this area, so thank you, I spy badge. That was, that was really interesting, though. I've never seen, like, the two text things coming up at once. Uh, and we are in for a very annoying fight, guys. I don't know, make this easier. I would bring Watt, but it's like these guys don't have any of thing. No, we haven't brought out Cooper in a while. Sadly. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Okay, guys. You may not realize this, but I just did something I didn't know was possible. You see, when you walk up to these guys, they you stop and they do their little... They do that little spin, 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 dance thing. Like the first ones did that we fought earlier. And so you can't get a first strike. Apparently, if you hit him with something ranged like that, you can. I don't know if that if the game developers intended that to happen or not, but okay. Anyway, here we also have the introduction of white magic coopers. Very annoying enemy. These guys have the ability to heal their partners 
In battle. Ah, that was bad. To heal their partners in battle. Which can be very troublesome. They may also have the ability. Ha ha. Ah. Yeah, that's it. They may also have the power to, uh. Yeah, he's probably gonna heal him. Yep. I think they also have the power to, uh, make themselves or one of their teammates invisible. I think. Uh, for a turn or two, so making them invulnerable temporarily. Um, I can't confirm this. It may actually, that may actually be in Paper Mario, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the sequel to this game. But regardless, it's a good idea to get out away from them as soon as possible. Okay, they do bite. I was ready for the. <sighs> That's why I hate it when enemies have uh, multiple different types of attacks. Now, I really don't feel like fighting them because this is a really annoying fight. Even though it's going to waste the last of my star power, I'm going to get Mustache Star back here and kill them all. With the power of the stars! Oh, we do get a hefty chunk of star points there, which is always welcome. And we also get a crap load of coins from that. God, we just got a crap load of everything. Man. What am I, what am I looking for? Uh, I can heal myself, but I think we may have a heart block coming up soon. Um. Yeah, guys, I think this episode is going on long enough. It, this should end up probably a little over 20 minutes, I think, by this point. But, at least if my numbers are correct, uh, no. I was going to say, if my numbers are correct, then it's not doing that skippy thing with my uh, with my audio, my voice commentary. Um, where it, like, skips slightly and I have to modify it. Like, I have to mess with it a little bit. But I think it's doing it slightly. I Yeah, it's doing it slightly, damn it. Oh, well, I did it in the last episode, so I'm happy with that, at least. But for now, guys, this has been Beta Nuts for Let's Play Paper Mario. In the next episode, we continue on and hopefully find Raphael the Raven. So until then, guys, I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.